hello guys welcome once again back to my channel this is shades of maddie today we'll be designing a product manipulation uh, flyer or a design anyone you want to call it so it's very very simple and straightforward as usual i'll be dropping the psd file in the link below please stay tuned and and download or and st stay tuned for the password rather to be able to unlock the file so what i did here i will just give you a quick run through of how i got this design it's very very simple and straightforward so let's start so what i did first was to change the background color you can see the color code that i used here was f uh, 570 e 0a now you can even do it any way you want you can decide to you know just let me remove this you can create a new layer here and create solid color sorry you can create solid color using that using that same reddish kind of design so you can decide to do, do it anyhow you want to do it so it's very very simple and straightforward and my page size is 2000 by 2000 pixel so what i did the game was to bring in this particular background this back, you can see let me change the blend mode to normal now you can see how, how it looks like you can see this is how it looks like looks like rather but you would you bring in this background you will expand it then change the blend mode okay, i think it's screen here yeah. to screen and also as usual i usually you know had my kind of feel which is a lighting to the background you know to give it that effect let me let me let me remove this and you see how it look you can, you can see it's it's kind of off so what you do is you come to your layer here you can create a new layer by clicking this this plus icon here then on your keep uh, on your keyboard you press b you can see that the f the foreground color here is green it was due to my work that i did earlier so you can change the color here to red or whatever color you want to use you can just tap once like this you can see it's, it's already red you can change the blend mode to linear dot add you can expand ctrl t on the keyboard to expand shift you can see you can see, see the lighting it's very very simple so this was this was how i got this background that you are seeing here this was, this was how i got this it's very very simple and straightforward so what i did again here was to instead of using red i used the color yellow you can see i, I used color yellow to achieve this so you can you know play around it to get your desired result so what i did here this place was to bring in background again let me let me change the blend mode to normal for you so you see, can see this this is the background this is the initial design so i changed the blend mode to i think i think screen yeah you can see it's the idea of changing blend mode to screen is to remove anything that has to do with black in that design that's why you 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 see a screen effect a screen effect removes all the black um all the black um elements in that design you can see let me change it back to normal you can see everything is black so it removes all the black if you can get the screen so i now duplicated it you know sorry control z i duplicated it you know you can see duplicate 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 the same thing goes for this one too you can see this pack you can see let me change the blend mode to normal you can see black also it removes all the black effects so now let me show you how i got this you can see this is this is um chips yeah you can call it chips again i, th I think it, the right one is pringles yeah pringles so i got this i used filter blur gaussian blur and i resized the image the same one for for every other design you see for every other pringle you see you can see all these ones here 
it's something like but, but for this one i use something different i went to filter i went to blow then motion blow instead of cushion so it will show that it's moving you can see the movement it show that it's moving that it's really moving so now let's come to the lighting of this you can see i added for this sprinkle here you know it has to blend with the background so i added a camera raw effect to it just to sharpen up the image sharpen up the you can see the contrast is at 54 texture 28 clarity 17 da 0 then i added baby line emboss you know just hard you know this kind of is edge feeling to it you can see because what I used here for it so now I wanted to you know blend that edge to to the background so what I did there was to create a new layer let me release KP mask create a new layer Sorry, let me create KP mask a new layer here Okay, let me remove this this one first let me delete this one so i create a new layer here right click right click rather click clipping mask change blend mode to screen with my focal color set to yellow i can just press b sorry b on my keyboard for brush you can see that it's having this kind of feel you can see as you can see you can see because i increase the the brush size and the and, and the flow so you can even reduce the opacity and reduce the brush size also you can just gently brush like this you can see it's even that 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 edgy feel this is just a rough work i take my time to you know do the designs before so you can have this edgy feel you know this all this feel of um, yellow kind of design it's very very simple and straightforward then for this one you can see i applied what i did yet i applied it here too but i used the color black you can see this one here you can see you, you, you can see the color here it's you can see this color black so you have that shadow feel at the end so that was exactly how i got this and then you, you can decide to add anything you want to add also it's very simple everything here is is png file you can see png images you know you also have that feel very simple and straightforward so please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos thank you